What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kingdom Hearts 3 running on the Steam Deck OLED. So if you're familiar with these games, they were recently ported over to PC. They launched on Steam. It was a Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 remix with a bunch of different DLCs. Out of the games that launched recently, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not Steam Deck verified out of the box, but I got a feeling it will be soon. Either way, I figured I'd go ahead and show it off running on the Steam Deck OLED. Plus, I wanted to show you the settings that I use to run this at 60 FPS and we're also going to try to take it up to 90 FPS. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get a steady 90 out of it but either way we're sure going to try here. Now this is exactly how the game looks right out of the box. As soon as you start it up you're going to get a really good looking picture. I mean we're at medium settings but it's running at 30 FPS. We've got a lot of settings that we can adjust here to make it run a bit better but to get it up to 60 is actually pretty easy. The OLED can definitely handle it. Now keep in mind, running from 30 to 60, you will get worse battery life out of your Steam Deck because we are pushing that APU a bit harder, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. Now, if you just want to play it like it is, you can have a really good time with this game. I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, so I'm super glad that we've got these all ported over to PC. And recently I created a video showing you this running on the ROG Ally and on that device at 15 watts, we can get a really steady 60 FPS out of it. And it does get close to 120 with that wattage way up. But in order to take the Steam Deck OLED up to 60 Hertz with Kingdom Hearts 3, there's just a few things we need to do. First things first, we're gonna set the refresh rate of this OLED panel to 60 Hertz. And one thing I also like to do here is just turn on half rate shading. That's gonna save us a little bit on battery life. I mean, it shouldn't make a huge deal, but this is something I usually enable. Doesn't hurt performance in my experience or visual quality. From our Steam Deck settings, we're gonna take the refresh rate to 60. So now we've got that panel running at 60 hertz. And in order to change the graphic settings here, we're gonna press our start button, go into the menu. And from here, we're gonna press the X button, go to our display options and change the refresh rate from 30 to 60. Now we've got other graphics options that we can change here, but we're gonna leave it right where it was. Medium settings, 75% resolution scale, 800p. Now this game is going to run at a steady 60 FPS. I mean, it is pretty amazing how well this does perform. And I know it's an older game. They ported it over to PC. It's not going to take that much to run. But going from 30 FPS up to 60 FPS really does make a huge difference. It's just super smooth at 60. But keep in mind, at 60 FPS, it's going to burn a lot more battery than if you were at 30 because that APU does need to work harder to render those extra frames. So I'd say, you know, if you're out and about and you don't have a battery pack or a wall charger available, you could drop this down to 30, get as much battery life out of it as possible. Then when you're someplace that you can recharge easily, or if you've even got an external battery pack with you, go up to 60. It is totally worth it. Just wanted to show you a little more gameplay here at 60 FPS, still using medium 75% resolution scale, 800p. I mean, even in this intense battle, lots of characters on screen, got some particle effects going. This is running at 60. Now, of course, it would be really nice to go up to 90 hertz with this OLED display and Kingdom Hearts 3, but I think it's going to be kind of hard pressed to do that. So I've been experimenting a bit with Kingdom Hearts 3, trying to get it up to 90 hertz. And basically what I've done here is set the screen refresh rate to 90 hertz on that OLED panel. I've gone into the settings taking it down to low, as low as we can go. I've turned off everything from those graphic settings. I've also taken it to 50% resolution scale and we're still at 800p. Another thing I've tried here is adjusting the manual TDP and the manual GPU clock, but it definitely seems to do a lot better. Well, let's just kind of set it auto. And as you can see, looking at the ground, not a lot going on. It does go up to 90 Hertz, but we're not even in battle right now. There's actually not a lot going on and it's dropping down under 90. So yeah, I mean, it is a bit disappointing that I'm not able to run this at 90 hertz right now. Uh, maybe down the road, once this is Steam Deck verified and some more optimizations are had by the developers, we could run this at a steady 90, but I'm gonna be playing this at 60 and I'm gonna have a really good time with it. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Just wanted to show you those settings I use for 60 hertz in Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Steam Deck OLED. If you've got better settings, let us know in the comments below. Personally, I don't mind playing at medium here, but like if you're able to get up to 90 hertz continuously, let us know exactly what you're doing in the comments below. It'd be really cool to get up there right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.